be an ordered triple. Okay, so the first member of the triple will be the a state, but that's the next state. Okay, you, that, I mean you've got to interpret this. It'll be the next state, and the second member of the ordered triple would be uh, uh, a member of your tape alphabet. In other words, the symbol that you will write uh, onto the current position of your read write head. You will, whatever, whatever's on that square that uh, the read write head is positioned at, that symbol will get overwritten by the symbol that's here. Okay? And then uh, this third thing, uh, the third member of your order triple will be either L or R and you interpret that to mean that the read write head uh, is to move one square to the left or one square to the right. Okay? So uh, this is the abstract math but translated into computer sort of physical things and then it's easy. Uh, like this whole board I, I put it about junior level, right? It's not conceptually. It's not hard. <coughs> right? Let's let's do an actual. Okay, so uh, you 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 plug in a. Uh, you're in current state little q. You're reading on the tape uh, little a. Uh, the delta function, the transition function, will deliver a, uh, an ordered triple from, from this set. You know, you're mapping, remember, what is a function? It's a mapper. It maps a member of one set into a member of another set. That's, that's, that's all it is. That's all a function is. Okay? And that's, that's what's going here. So you're mapping this ordered pair into this ordered triple. Uh, current state, uh, uh, current symbol being read on the tape. Next state, uh, the symbol that will be written over, you know, like overwritten, sorry, it will overwrite uh, this A. This B will overwrite that. And then the read write head will move one square to the left. Okay, that's, that's, that's what that means. Okay, uh, well, we know, we know what that means. Uh, yeah, so in this case, uh, we're going to move our. our Read right head. The machine will move uh, one square to the left. Okay. Uh, the the A here that uh, the that was at the current position of the read right head, it will get overwritten by the B here. Okay. So now there's a B in that square, not an A. All right. So here's the actual uh, formal definition itself, and it's going to it'll end up being a seven tuple. There'll be seven things in the list in this formal list, formal description of a, TN, of a TN, Turing machine. Most of it is familiar. Uh, in fact, uh, it's all familiar. Just a few little variations. Okay. Uh, you know, you know, you know, well, you know now, it's, uh, it's this, okay. Uh, yeah, so you pretty well know all of it. So, okay, one by one, what are, what are these seven things uh, listed in your formal description of a TM. Well, the first one, Q, what's that? That's just a set of states. Old hat, you, you know that. Uh, because a Turing machine and a finite automaton and a PDA, they all have states. Right? And, and you switch, you transition, and that's why it's called transition function. You transition from one, you, know, you change from, or you, know, you switch from. Um, from one state to another state. Okay? So Q is the set of all possible states of your machine. Big Sigma, what's that? That's your tape. Hold on. Now that's your input. Uh, Better be careful here. Now you've got two different alphabets. And that was the same situation with the PDA. We had a input string alphabet and we had a stack alphabet. Now for the Turing machine, you have an input string alphabet, so that's the same. And that's what this is. Now, uh, the input string would be uh, your initial uh, string on your tape. It's, it's the, yeah, okay. Uh, and that does not include the blanks. Be careful, right? 
there is no blank in the string alphabet. Okay? Be, be careful with it, it's subtle. Okay? So there's a difference between this and this. Now, uh, so this, this is the set, you know, the, what are we calling it? String alphabet, or the input alphabet. Okay, well, input string, if you like, input, or input alphabet. And it, uh, it has, it, it can, it's the set of all allowed symbols that uh, can be, can be, in your starting string that, that's written onto your tape. And that, that alphabet here, big sigma, does not, important, does not include the blank. Right? Uh, now, now this one, uh, capital gamma, the third one, it's the uh, tape alphabet. What is that? It's called the tape alphabet. So the is input or input string alphabet, this is the tape alphabet. Now what's the difference? Well, for a start, uh, on the tape, you can have blanks. Right? Well, you, when you start with, you'll have an infinite number of blanks. Right? It's an infinite tape. So, uh, so your tape alphabet must include the blank. So effectively, uh, your tape alphabet is the set of it's the set of all symbols you can uh, read and write on the tape. So it's possible, I guess. It hasn't been spelled out, but I guess that means that uh, your tape alphabet is a superset of your string input string alphabet and it includes the blank right you have to have a blank on the tape but you don't you don't have a blank in your initial input string right it's contiguous there's no, there's no it doesn't contain any blanks all right well i hope you appreciate the different you know it's a bit subtle the difference between these two alphabets okay so the the tape alphabet Inclu you know, it's a superset of this, it includes all, all this, has to. There may be extra uh, symbols that it includes, and it certainly includes the blank. Okay? Alright. Now, well, the rest, well, we've just done the delta function, the transition function, it's, it's this, right? Uh, you input uh, an ordered pair, your know, current state, uh, the current square being red symbol, and it outputs next state. Uh, the symbol that's to be written, written on the current square. Current just means where the read write head is positioned. Okay, and uh, this tells you whether the read write head is to move left or right to the neighbouring square, the left neighbour or right neighbour. Right. That's so. That's your transition function. Q naught is usual. That's just your start state. You know, when, when your uh, Turing machine is about to start working, it, it has to start somewhere, in, it has to start in some state, well which state? Well the start state, uh, Q0, right? And the sixth thing, uh, Q accept. Now with a Turing machine there's only one accept state and there's only one reject state, okay? They're not sets of, they're just one. So we don't, we don't have set, you know, this won't be a set, it'll just be, a, well, a single state. And similarly with the reject, that will also not be a set, it will just be a single state. Okay? So these next two are pretty easy. That's the accept state and that's the reject state. Now it's the nature of a Turing machine that the moment that uh, the machine switches from some other state into the accept state, the machine switches off. It's done its job. It, it just stops. Or to use the technical word, in uh, this context, it halts. H A L T. It halts. Okay. And if uh, if it's in some other state and uh, it goes to the reject state, same thing. It just stops. In other words, it halts. Okay. Oh, and be careful. This state and this state must be different. Okay. Uh, the accept state and the reject state are not the same. Yeah, it's sort of same same here. Okay. Well, that's that's the formal definition. Now, <laughs> you know, easily stated, um, the, yeah, the, the, as, as always, the guts in the problem is figuring out what the transition function is here, the delta. Well, I mean, yeah, you have to decide in the states. It's, it's, not, yeah, it's not trivial, but yeah, the, 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 the heart of the matter 
is uh, specifying your transition function, your delta. But, but you know, there are subtleties in the states, like um, you know, which states do you need? When, when do you need to, as, as you're thinking about the problem, you'll, 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 you'll be adding new states and you'll, you'll be wondering, well, you know, okay, maybe I need a new state here in this, in this stage of the problem. And uh, so your Q, you know, the set of states, yeah, that, that'll take some thought. Uh, but, but as I say, you know, that's, that's the tough one, uh, the, the, the delta. So it's, um, you, usually these two are, are given in, in specifying the problem. You know, what's the task of the Turing machine? What, what's it supposed to do? And so the, the thinking uh, uh, really involves these two with most of it going in, oops, sorry, sorry, here, the delta and the Q, um, with most of your thought going into the, the, the delta, but, well, debatable. I mean, this, you know, also takes quite a bit of thought. All right, uh, well, I'll stop there before I run out of film.